What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Hope you're well, guys. We're going to go over our friend Phantom. Currently, we're sitting at 152. We're down about 0.9 on the day. We're sitting on market cap about 3.82 billion. 24 hour volume, 737 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. You can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime travel incentives, depending on the level of card that you have. $25 just for signing up through my referral. So we've reset our buy zones here for Phantom. Our first one's at $1.45. So if you wanted to uh, market order into your trade right now, you definitely could. Not financial advice. Um, just uh, not your financial advisor. I'm a young guy from Canada. <laughs> so we're creating a bullish divergence, all right? So we created a lower low on the chart. You can see here we wick down. We created a low, lower low, higher low on the RSI, signifying the bears are running out of strength. And it's the bull's time to step in and play. So we have our first take profit zone 164. Now that's not a big trade. I definitely wouldn't close all my, well it is actually, it's a 12% move. So that's not a bad trade right there. I would just look to close 25 to 50% and uh, wait for 193 and quite possibly 233, which is a 57% climb. I don't know about all that, but you never know guys. So we have our bullish divergence. If we come over to the four hour time frame. You're gonna see it as well, bullish divergence. We're underneath the EMAs, but I think some bullish pressure should step in here and push us back above the EMAs. We're absolutely in the floor. We're completely oversold. And as you saw here, we're oversold. We saw a nice bounce back to the upside. We go back here, we're oversold. Nice bounce, huge bounce back to the upside, guys. So this is the optimal entry point uh, when you're oversold like this. And then you put your buy limits for dollar cost averaging 119. Uh, 95 cents 58 cents so if we come down deeper your average price will be sitting halfway dollar 32 you're ready to ride the wave back up because that's how it works guys it goes in waves so we're going to look at phantom here on the daily so we fell out of our ascending ch channel and we came right down to the target we wicked right down to our target of our ascending channel about 97 cents the previous all-time high for ftm so if you bought in down there shout out to you you can see here we're completely oversold we're we're about 30 on the rsi 31 on the daily rsi you can see look right here daily rsi in the floor big bounce right here as well huge bounce so i would expect a bounce relatively soon um, definitely an optimal time to enter a long trade in my opinion all right guys so what we want to see here is some sort of reversal structure we have a little bit of a double bottom here on the four hour chart so if we can push back above above the emas and uh, get back into this channel would of course be optimal here which is coming in at about two dollars and 22 cents for ftm i uh, will quickly pull our bull run targets for phantom uh, right here. All right, guys. So we have our bull run targets 597 and 993 at the 2.272. We gotta keep a close eye on a bounce, guys, because it's coming. It's coming very, very soon. When you're in the floor like that, you're gonna bounce. You can't just keep selling off. The bulls will step in and push the price back up, whether it's at $1.45, could be at $1.19. That's why you DCA, bring your average price down to $1.33 and get ready to ride the slingshot back up for FTM. So that's basically it for this one. Quick shout out to the Discord, guys. I'm now posting uh, these dollar cost average charts in the Discord. So if you want to use them as a reference, you want to jump in there, look at your buy zones, look at your take profit zones. They're right here in the Discord. And we also have 1,000 members talking all things crypto, posting chart patterns. And it's the price of a coffee, guys. It's 350 USD. I might knock it up to $5 pretty soon. So, <laughs> all right, I'll see you in the next one. Much love. Take care.